Hey everyone, Paul Parmelo here. Welcome to my workshop. People have noticed that when I start a new woodworking project that I use the planks of cut wood complete with bark on them and they want to know, do I cut my own logs? Well, yes I do. Now, I have cut larger logs on my bandsaw. Uh, they're a bit heavy, a bit long, so what I like to use is about 8 inches in diameter about two and a half feet long. I've got a piece of maple here and a piece of cherry. As I say in all my videos, there's many ways of doing something and I'm going to show you how I do it. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to use is my bandsaw. This is a 15 inch bandsaw. When I first got it stock, it was only able to cut six inches deep. I've since added a riser block to it that brought the top portion up four inches so now I can go up to ten inches deep. I've got a roller bearing on the out feed to support the log after it's gone through the bandsaw. Now using this smaller log as an example they're round, they're not very stable on the table. So the first thing I want to do is cut just a little bit off of one side just a little bit and I'm going to use that as a footing. So once that's done, then I can rotate it onto the footing and then I can cut my planks. Now that I have a nice footing cut out, I can tip it over. It's going to stay nice and stable and I can go ahead now and start cutting my planks. I usually cut them between an inch and an inch and a half in thickness. This is wet. When it dries, it's going to shrink a bit. Plus, putting it through the planer, taking off a bit more to finish it. So I'll be left with three quarters of an inch to an inch. So now here we have some nice red cherry and some white maple. After about my second cut, I decided to change the blade on my bandsaw to something a little more aggressive. I should have done it at the very beginning, but just lazy, I guess. So the next thing to do is to air dry these outside. I'm going to put a sealer on the ends. This will help prevent any cracking. Then we're going to go outside behind the shed. We're going to set up some sawhorses. We're going to stack the lumber using spacers in between or stickers. Then we're going to put a cover on it and finally put some weight on it to hold the whole thing down. We'll leave it like this for about eight months. Then I'll bring it back into the house where I'll leave it for a few more months. They say generally about a year per inch of wood. And finally, this is what we're going to end up with. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how I process this piece of wood. I'm also going to do the same for this old piece of firewood. I want to thank my brother-in-law Keith for donating the lumber to me. And we'll see you next time.